Hello everyone, I'm Samantha and today I'm going to trade with an alligator indicator. But before we start, I'd like to remind you that if you're interested in joining to my VIP Telegram group where I share all my trades, you can text me directly on Telegram so I personally answer you and add you to my private group with signals. And please don't forget that there is a limit of just 100 people so you need to be quick to get there. Okay, let's go. It's a good situation to get a deal on the increase. Open for one minute and let's watch the next one. This is a plus and we continue. By the way, we have reached 6000 on the balance. It is open for a decrease. We quickly look at the hourly time frame where we are excellent. We seem to have a strong upward trend, but we haven't yet had time, of course, to open a deal here for one minute, so let's watch. Great, we covered the previous signal, well, there are such sharp adjustments, even this is the candle we put on, so we try to adjust in the other direction, and by the way, there will be a continuation here, let's leave one more trade to go down again. We have just opened the deal again, we'll try to jump up. We'll trade to on the downside, that is scalping, there is no getting away from it. From this, it is necessary to look... So this is a minus, this is a minus, so well, nothing here. But now two are on the decline. I have already forgotten what we have there according to statistics. So minus, plus, minus, and plus, mi plus, minus. Okay, now most likely it will be here. So plus, plus. Well, never mind, we'll look for another minute. Apparently such an interesting trade awaits us today. Okay, let's move on. Here we carefully see how our lines did not intersect. Accordingly, although they are going down, we will not bet here, we just go further. An interesting situation. Here apparently a U-turn has occurred and we had an upward trend, we turned around and is now up again. The upward adjustment is going strongly again with let's open a deal on the next candle and look at it openly. Again, this is a great plus, so let's look for something else. Here is an interesting situation with the oscillator. By the way, it's very cool to work easily, so here it is strongly set up for an increase. But now we have an indicator showing a downside entry. So I ignored it, even though it's pretty strong. And at any moment we can accidentally put... We can trade on a green candle that abruptly decides to appear here. So let's see here again. Okay, there was an increase, then a decrease, some kind of adjustment. Yeah, downgrade again. Okay, well, the loss, of course, uh, is here. We have a candle. I will not trade on a strong pullback, only probably. So let's follow it for another 11 seconds, and if it rolls straight up, we will lower it. Okay, so we're not violating anything here. I just don't like this place. Okay, let's take a chance on the video. So let's see what happens. Well, uh, there is also a strong downward trend here. We also have an hourly time frame showing a downward trend. So let's watch for one minute. So we're stuck here, right? So this can also happen, which we have on the previous one. Here again, yes, what I said, as I remember, here we have a trend on the hourly going up. And the indicator told us to go down, even though we could trade a lot of red candles in a row right here, put everything here, anything could happen. And here the same thing happened in fact. So uh, I'm sure that from this moment we do not know what was okay, we will look for another currency. 
Then in general, ideally, open deals when the mouth opens just now, openings are being prepared. That is, they are crossing now, they have already crossed, uh, they will cross again, the mouth will open, the so-called mouth of the alligator, so that's what it looks like. And here we have an intersection and we are quickly looking at the clock now. We had such an interesting side wall, which led to the fact that the chart went down. So here it is very much on the rise. So from what I know, when there is a sideways turn, then a reversal, it is better to hold, so to speak, so your trades not to enter them. We still have a lot of currency pass, we're just moving on. So there is quite an interesting situation with the loss of candles and in my opinion where we have already trade yes here we have opened up for increase again so we'll see but here we have reversal on the hourly and a discrepancy and in indicators at one so for one minute that is, we have the intersection of the curve as much as possible. We'd better catch the moment where the indicator intersects. That's how all the lines crossed and the mouth began to open. So we are looking further. You also need to wait for a strong downward trend and in any case when the candle closes, but even when we have a fully formed indicator, I am not really trading. So after such candles, it's like our mouth is about to open and the candle is so big that unfortunately I will miss it. Let's look at another currency pair. The trend is here. Here we have a look on the 11th from the very morning. Here we have the first candle we have gone down up and down strongly and now the rollback is up and down quotes here so in principle here it will be possible to trade on a decrease so we're growing and growing and that is the minimum has not been updated so far so let's leave it for now here we have at least not once updated the minimum and each minimum is higher than the previous one so and it needs to be the other way around so quickly we look at a great trend for an increase good so clear here we have an open mouth and i'll trade more here make a deal for a increase for me it's one minute for you a few Second, so let's see. Okay, excellent last. This will be the end of it. So we have risen very well today. Everyone earned a good amount. So thanks a lot for watching and see you on next videos.